our armed forces and their veterans have been extraordinarily well supported through charitable giving during the campaigns in Iraq and Afghanistan. However, we have now reached a point long after the combat phases of these campaigns have come to a close, when the long-term mental effects of intense combat operations are sadly beginning to show. Many of these veterans have made remarkable sacrifices on behalf of our country. And as they have transitioned to civilian life and left behind the camaraderie of service life, the physical, mental and emotional scars of battle are being exposed. Treating these illnesses is very challenging. One of our charity's treatments is the Pain Resilience Programme, and this is having a marked effect. As one veteran put it recently, I quote, I wish I had found something like this when I first started my journey through the maze of possible routes to treatment and support. I feel things would have progressed far more satisfactorily and prevented several years of being in a dark place all alone. I would highly recommend the programme to other veterans who are dipping their toe into the murky waters of veteran support. It's a programme run by veterans for veterans. It is also very exciting that a new and innovative treatment is potentially becoming available. MDMA, as it is known, is being trialled with psychotherapy for those with severe and treatment-resistant PTSD. Early results suggest this treatment is truly groundbreaking. Our charity has commissioned King's College London to work in partnership with MAPS, a non-profit organisation, who is pioneering research with MDMA-assisted psychotherapy in the United States to further develop the treatment. We know that MDMA-assisted psychotherapy is unorthodox, and we know that it will provoke questions and even some objections, given the unusual nature of the therapeutic agents involved. However, we are clear that the weight of science is behind it. Current studies in the United States are proving to be dramatically more effective than other treatments at relieving the pain and bringing some positivity to those with PTSD. We, and more importantly, our veterans, are convinced it merits further study and trial. But it is expensive. Victory on the battlefield is secured by the side that is most innovative. PTSD is a truly debilitating and life-threatening battle. Defeating it requires innovation. I hope that you might feel bold enough to support a new appeal we have launched this year called our Pioneer Fund. It seeks to make MDMA psychotherapy more available. It promises genuinely to make a difference to the lives of wounded veterans who deserve the chance to lead normal lives.